Well, I knew going into the season it was going to be a rough season. Um, I only had a few returning players. Uh, I graduated about five seniors, and I had to recruit newbies, uh, people with no experience. So I knew right off the bat it's going to be it was going to be a long struggle trying to get my team um, together. Overall, we were very happy with how our season turned out. I don't think the expectations were uh, tremendously high for our team, even though we had four starters back from last year's team. And with the experience that we'd gained last year, my own personal expectations were distinctly higher than I think what everybody had anticipated. Uh, our, our league coaches picked us, I don't remember if it was fourth or even high, as high as third preseason, but um, all in all, we had, a, we had a very good season and uh, got off a little bit of a sluggish start. <clears throat> the month of November and uh, December just weren't all that kind to us. And then come around, turn around in January and February, especially in league play, uh, our chemistry came together and we just seemed to be playing uh, rather well together. Uh, ended up with a 12-4 regular season uh, conference record in CUNY, and, uh, which was good enough for second place. Uh, indoor season, we, we were able to take a very strong um, uh, cross-country and distance uh, squad into the indoor season and it really, really gave us a tremendous push uh, with the addition of some of our veteran sprinters and jumpers that were here last year. And that combination uh, kind of culminated in the indoor season on the men's side and we were able to, to bring a championship um, as well. Um, and so, uh, again, um, you know, just very special to, to come in and, you know, my first year and be able to accomplish that and, you know, my first year at the helm. So I, I'm just really, really proud of the effort uh, on the men's side as well as the women who, who got a second place finished uh, again out of nowhere. And much like Kosh Country, the numbers are a little smaller than we would like them to be, but we're growing and we're getting bigger. And uh, to get a second place finish for, for the indoor season for our women's team is amazing. And uh, just kudos to all the hard work that was put in. This 2016-17 women's basketball season was incredible. Just an incredible journey. Uh, we experienced everything, the lows, the highs, everything in between, uh, adversity, success, uh, you name it, and uh, these girls just handled it with uh, class all season long and, and just improved every single day uh, to make it a memorable season. So one of my returning players is Judy Watkins, and she had one of her best seasons in four years. Um, at the NCAA Regionals, she finally made it past the first round, and she made it into the second round. Um, the first three seasons, she wasn't able to make it out of the first round, and she was extremely disappointed. But this season, uh, because she made it to the second round, we all felt the coaching staff and Judy was a huge accomplishment. Um, it was a good way for her to end her fencing career. Uh, getting to the conference tournament semifinals by via our second place finish in the regular season was obviously incredible for our kids and uh, how well they played all season long and to experience uh, playing in our own facility in that kind of atmosphere was was just unbelievably uh, good for everybody and uh, I think it really brought the campus together in a lot of ways and uh, it brought brought our team together and uh, semi-final game against Lehman, which is our third third attempt to play them all season, uh, could couldn't end it any better in a thrilling contest with Dave Solano hitting a, a three-point shot with two seconds to go on the clock. So all in all, it was a very good season, and uh, I'm told the seven the very best record that City College has, has had since those old-time glory days of 1950. At the beginning of the season, I tried to step back and take a wide-angle lens of the year look at our talent, look at the seat, the rest of the teams in our league, uh, their talent, and where I think we could match up and, and uh, potentially finish. And on paper, I, I honestly didn't think we could win a championship during the regular season. And some of the girls were a little shook up when I told them that, uh, because they're always told, you know, to believe in uh, uh, being the best you could be and winning the championship, and it's win, win, win. And uh, I took a different approach with this team and uh, I, I tried to focus more on the process and where I think realistically we have our best chance. And for me, uh, and I told them at the beginning of the season, uh, it's going through Hunter College. And um, 
I tried to read the tea leaves and tried to predict based on all the things that I just talked about. And sure enough, it came down to uh, Hunter College uh, to get to the semifinals for the second consecutive year, the first time that's ever been done since 1996-97. The future looks bright. Um, as long as I'm still the fencing coach here, um, I'm going to continue to work hard and try to recruit the, the best players, the best fencers uh, within the New York City metro area. Um, I feel that I have one of the best coaching staff um, of all the community. So for 67 years, uh, you know, there's been uh, not a ton of success here and we were just very thankful to our four seniors and Khalil Hamer, David Solano, uh, Robbie Denisio, and, and, and Mark Richards just really, really had very good, good, very good years. All four scored in double digits for us and uh, we just had a very good chemistry together with those four leading us. Think about this. Think about everything that we had going against us. We had just beaten uh, Megar Evers College in the first round of the CUNY playoffs and looked horrible doing it. Just barely got by Megar Evers, uh, the last place team in our league. Uh, and then we had to go to Hunter College uh, to try to win to get back to the semifinals. We were down to six players and again we've only had one returning starter from last year's team. Uh, and then you add to the fact that Hunter College had beaten us handily during the year by 14 points at their place and by 20 points uh, at our place. And they had an all-conference uh, shooting guard and a freshman of the year at point guard. And of course we had no uh, conference award winners. Thank you very much, CUNY. I really appreciate that. Uh, but we went in knowing, uh, again, at the beginning of the season, we knew this was going to happen. I laid it out for him, and sure enough, there it was. Uh, the chance to beat Hunter on the road in a one-and-done situation uh, with the pressure all on them. And uh, it was incredible. The girls came to play. Marissa Olson did an incredible defensive job on their top score and shut her down completely. Uh, we had put a new defense in just for that game and saved it all season. The girls executed outstanding defense on offense. They played with confidence. Everyone was con contributing. It was just an outstanding night. Uh, and I'll never forget it. Uh, we won 69-67 and the celebration began at the buzzer and uh, it carried into the locker room, extremely emotional locker room. Obviously the girls were bawling and crying and of course I was composed and I had to try to keep the girls under control but the emotions were just, I'm just kidding, I was bawling more than anybody. Uh, but it was a great night, something I'll never forget and ladies if you came to the, the uh, sports night banquet tonight I want to thank you for an unbelievable season. Uh, I will never ever forget it. I am extremely proud of each and every one of you.
Where'd you wanna go?